Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cabin in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna. Now today um, we're going to do a squirrel and um, I was asked the other day to do what I do a squirrel and here he is I can see him on my Facebook page so we're going to go and we're going to start with a little bit of an autumny look this time even though we're sort of in early summer but um, still it should be fun to draw and we'll start with a pencil and I think I, as I always say to you what you should do is always make sure that you hold your pencil nice and light. Um, sometimes I'll let you go a little bit heavier in this one in certain places. So we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Some places it'll be a bit lighter and other because we rub out some of the lines. So hold your pencil nice and light to start with. Don't hold it up too high because if you hold it up too high, it ends up that it gets hard to draw because you get, it gets too tight a line. So nice and nice and light. OK, so here we go. So we're going to start by doing his head. OK, so watch this. I'm going to, and I'm going to do it heavy because you have to see the line I'm going to do. OK, so we're going to start with a circle here. And I'm going to go, imagine there's the middle of the page. We're going to go a little bit to the right of the page, the middle of the, and we're going to go along here. We're going to just going to put this a bit. There we go. It's just falling over a bit. Here we go. Are you ready? There we go. We're going to do a circle here like this. And you don't have to do it as heavy as mine. I'm going to do it quite heavy. So I like that. OK. I'll show you as I go along, so each step you'll be able to see. And you can go back and check on this later on if you want. And then we're going to put a little bit out like that. Okay. And we can actually rub out that line at the moment now. We don't need this line anymore. So we can rub out that little line there. Now, as I said, it'll be hard for me to rub it out because it's, I'm going to do it heavy. You'll be doing it a lot lighter than me. Now, then actually I made his head a lot smaller than the other lad's head, but that doesn't matter make a bigger branch okay so here we go we're going to do his body so we're going to do a big big shape like this and it's just kind of really just like that shape actually yeah it's like a big sort of a blob kind of a big like a drop almost a drop of water almost and now we're going to do a big we're going to do his leg like that so it's like an egg shape inside this, this big shape here, okay? Hey Terry. Hi Noel. Now, and we're going to join these up here. We'll just do a little join up here like that. And we'll take out this little red line here that we don't need anymore. Now, and then we're going to do two little ears on them. So we'll put a little ear like that and a little ear like that. Because they've got kind of long sort of furry kind of type ears up here. And we can put a big eye on them here like this. Now, so make it just really easy to draw, okay? Now, so it's not too hard at all, this. It's a nice little easy one because it's he's got a lot of round little shapes on him. I'm going to do his feet here. So I'm going to put two long feet here like that, and one foot out like that. See? Right there we go. And we're going to do another little foot out like this here. And then we're going to put his hand in like this. So we're going to put his arm in. So we're going to make a nice, this is just really little easy bit like that. Just two little... Kind of almost just one line like that. It's almost like two upside, a smiley face almost. And then we're going to put a little hand. Now remember, you can always look back later on a little shape like that. And that'll be his hand. And we just put three little, we just put a couple little lines in the middle of that. And you can see him starting to turn into a squirrel now, can't you? So we're going to put a little, little nut in his hand or something. So just a little shape like that there. A little roundy shape. And you see, because you've been doing it light, you'll be able to rub these out much easier. So don't hold your pencil too heavy. I say, I have to do it dark so you can see it on the screen. So there we go. And any, and you can actually put another little bit of his hand in the background because you could probably see a little bit of this arm here. So just put another little line like that. Look, see another line up there. So that just shows that there's, there's two, that there's a line, an arm behind the other arm. Okay, now we have his tail. So we just, this tail, we can bring it up and around like that. Okay, and then we do another big loop around like that. And there we have him really. That's nearly more or less our squirrel drawn. And then we're going to put a branch underneath him because he's sitting on a tree. So what we do is put a line here like this. And we just put a little bit of a shape like that there. See like that? There we go. Hello Bridget and Don, how are you? Karen and Faith, how are you? Um, now we're going to put in a few little... A little um, just a few little leaves, one, two, three, like that. You can do different shaped leaves. You can put this kind of, oops, I'm stuck to this, and that's getting stuck in here. You could do a, 
a leaf like that shape. You don't have to do the same shapes all the time. You can just, I'm going to put a line down the middle and a line down the middle there and a line down the middle there. See, like that. And we can put our little lines coming through the side. Let's see if you can see this. I think I'm moving backwards a bit here. Let's see if the light's coming on that. Right, it's very hard for me to see it on this angle here. I'm using the phone this time, so it's a different um, camera position. There we go. Now, it's better in the light there. So we can put a line down here and like there. I'll put a line there and there. So we can add our little lines on our leaves then, okay? As we go along. So I might just do it here this way instead. And we put a line here. I will just put a little lines on our leaves like that. And we can put a little, we can do another one up here. We can do one up there. The same. You can just literally do whatever way, wherever you want your leaves. You don't have to do the same as me at all. I'm, and I'll go back over these later on when we're when we're painting it. So we can put another leaf out here. You can do, as I say, we can do different shaped leaves. And really that's it and that's really all the drawing we're going to do for now okay so we start off with a little circle and then we little shape here with this big blob shape here and then an egg shape here a little feet and the feet and just like that shape and that shape and the little hand and then the tail and because you've used your pencil nice and light you'll be able to rub it out really easy so now we're going to go and we're going to paint it okay so let's see if we can get this a better position here to paint there we go now, here we go. So we're going to paint it. So I'm using poster paints, which are like this here, but you can use acrylic paints. You could use, but make sure if you're using acrylic paints that you're wearing old clothes because you don't want to get that on your clothes because it's very hard to get out. Okay. So we're going to go in with, um, this is a primary brush here. I had it a minute ago. Here we go. Where's it gone? It's just gone for a walk. And now we get our paints. So we're going to start with the blue paint in the background. So I'm going to just get a blue. I have a bit of blue out here, but I might put a bit more blue out. Oh, that's no, right. Now, here we go. And I'm going to mix that with a bit of white. So I'm going to get blue and white together. So if we get a little bit of white, more white out. So I'm going to put more white onto my, onto my palette. Now I use, if you know, you can use, if you want a mixing tray. Now if you use things for like, I'm using things for the chicken. There's a chicken slices in these. So you can use all different things from your house to mix for your paints. To mix on um, stuff that you get from your fridge when you're finished with the... Uh, vegetable cartons and things like that are very good for mixing your paints on so i'm going to get the blue and the white together and we're going to come in here and we're going to come all the way in here so we can just walk around go work our way around the whole all this here and we're going around between his ears and we just work this the whole way through that's not a great brush and that's the other brush in the house. Isn't that not was a great idea? Now, there we go. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there, all right. And remember, if you, boys and girls, if you have any suggestions, please, please, please let me know. Because um, I'm always looking for suggestions. I have my little jar of suggestions here. And I have some more to go through. But um, I'm always looking for you. What you'd like to draw is what I want to draw. So we're just going to go through here and paint all of this in here, anywhere in between your leaves. And all in here. And you can put as many leaves as you want in the background. You can put loads of leaves if you want. You don't have to put the same number of leaves as me. You can put, you could fill it up with leaves and you could put different shades of leaves. Now I made them kind of autumn colours because you kind of think of the think of the squirrels collecting the nuts in autumn, so I kind of gave it that kind of a look. So it's just blue and white is what I'm using here. And we're going to go around here like so. The tape in the middle of that. Yeah, there we go. All the way down there. If you have any questions, oh yeah, Kate would like to do a piglet or a lamb. Oh, okay. I'll definitely put them into the into the jar now before the class is over. Um, so I'll do that in a few minutes. And we'll see. We've had quite a lot of... We'll definitely say we'll get through the whole animal kingdom at this rate. So we will. We've got so many animals. We've done pandas and we've done... Um, 
we've done cats, we've done dogs, we've done rabbits, we've done, what else have we got on? We've done other strange fantasy ones like dragons as well, which was, and dinosaurs even. So, and they're the, and birds, penguins. So yes, we've done a lot. Okay, so here we go. So we're nearly finished all the, the, the blue bits. Just remember that you don't, doesn't matter if you go over a leaf, you can always go back over it if you did one by mistake. Now, you could give that another coat if you want, but I'll just give it the one coat for now. Because some of the paints, as I say, are kind of watery and they kind of, um, you need another coat. But we leave it like that for now. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to colour in the leaves. So now this is a kind of fun bit in a way, because what I did was I mixed a few colours together. So I got my yellow and I got my red. And I got a little bit of brown, actually, a little bit of brown, and I got my green as well. And I'm just going to look for my, my brown here. Don't mind me going off here for a second. I'll just sort of get my brown, wherever I put it. I want to get my green, first of all. And I have to get my brown. Where did I put my brown? Um, I put them all oh, here it is, here. No, that's not it. I might do it there. Might do the trick. It's kind of a sort of valley color. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to get my my red and my yellow, like that. And I'm going to put my brownie color and my and my and my greeny color. And I'm going to put them all on the brush at the same time. So I get all different shades coming at the same time. Look, and this is quite nice. You get a nice kind of because if you look at autumn leaves, they're all different shades often on the one leaf. You'll see different colors coming through. So you don't have to put the same color all on the one leaf at the same time, look. See, so I let my brush dip into all the different colors, into the yellow, the red, the brown, and the green, all together. See, like that, see? And it gets a lovely effect. It gives it that look, it really looks lovely. See, look? See the way you get all the different shades going at the same time? So all, I'm using yellow and red and brown and um, green all together. So you don't have to. So there's all different colors. It's quite fun to do this bit. Quite a lot of fun. We go over the leaves afterwards with our little bit of our um, our, our dark crayon or a pencil crayon afterwards. Now I'll put one in here. And we'll just blob that along like that. Look. And some leaves will turn out to be a bit greener. Some of them will look more autumny, and that even is, makes it really more like the way you see it when you look at the autumn leaves. So we're going to put one up here and one down here, I should say. And then I'm going to get the sort of the brownie color on the branch. Sort of a brownier color on the branch here. I'm going to make it a little white with that. It's a bit too reddishy. Yeah. I might make this a bit lighter than the one in the picture because it'll make them show up nice again at, against it. You can do different shades of brown. It depends on what shade. I have a different shade here today. It's much more of a reddishy one than I had when I was doing the original one. But that doesn't matter at all. And I'm just going to colour that out like that. There we go. Now, now what we're going to do, I don't know, I want to get a bit of my blue here for a minute. There we go. I'm going to cut out some blue paint as well. Because you know what we want the blue from? We want the blue. I know, don't mind me banging here. There's hardly any blue paint left in it, that's why. So, um, okay, so we're going to get some blue. And we're going to get a bit more of my brown. Because we're going to put a shadow under them. And a good way of making a shadow is with a brown and a blue. Not a black, but a brown and a blue. So here we go. I'm going to get a bit of brown and a bit of blue together. And I'm going to make a shadowy colour. And I'm going to put that just underneath them, like that. Just where he's sitting. See like that? In there. So... See a little bit of a brown and a blue underneath them on the thing, on, underneath. Okay, now we're going to put a colour on him. So again, it's actually very like the leaf colour without the green. It's really getting our yellow and our red and our little bit of brown together. 
So you make a kind of an orangey browny shade. And it's a kind of, we're going to bring it all the way down here like that. And look at the what look at I'm the way I'm doing this. Look, I'm not going up and down in big strokes. I'm making lots of little strokes like that. Look, look, lots of little ones. And that makes him look furry. And that's what we want to make. We want to make him look like he's furry. So if we get him do these little strokes, that's what you do. So it's yellow and red and a little bit of brown in it. Okay, so here we go. All the way through here. I'll do it up closer here so you can see it a bit better. So just like that. All the way through. There we go, like that. And then we come across down here. We go in his little feet. And we're going to go, just maybe a little bit more in here. Put it down his tail. Now the top of his tail is kind of, um, is kind of whitey. Kind of, he's got lots of whitey kind of fur on the top of his tail. So we're going to go up here and we're going to just go like that, look. There we go. See like that there. And you see the way I'm doing the little strokes? Look, see that? That's quite important. And really good to learn these things when you're, even when um, you're younger, because they're really good to learn how to, this is how I, when I'm doing um, my artwork, like my big paintings, as it were, I still use these kind of strokes, these little ones, rather than doing big, 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 long ones. So, and it makes it look furry. And we go up along his head and we might add a bit more brown into that. It's a bit of a reddishy brown color here, but that doesn't matter because he is that kind of color anyway. And we're going to go in here and all the way down to his little nose. And then under his neck and down to his arm. Right. And then we go. And don't forget now to say if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm going to put one here. And down here. I'm going to leave this little space. See that little space there? I'm going to leave that white because his belly is kind of white. It's a bit like his tail. It's like white fur underneath there. So we'll just do his arm here like that, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to put a bit, because he's now all the one colour, but I want to make it look like there's a bit of shadow on him. So remember the colour before we had a bit of our brown and our blue together. So hi Tom. Hello Rosemary. Hi Lena. Hello, Mary. I tried to read there. My eye, I need my glasses on. Um, so we get um a bit of red, a brown. Sorry, it's brown and blue. Get the brown and blue together, and we're going to make a shadow. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to put a bit of shadow in here. I'll just take a bit of that off, and we're going to put a little shadow in, just behind his back on the bottom of his tail, and again, and down here. Now look, see how again I'm doing those little baby strokes. Look, look like that. Look, and I'm going to put a little bit on the top, just in there, it's like the crease on his leg, you see where his leg is bent over like that, look. And a little bit underneath, because he's got more shadow underneath where he's sitting on here the, on the, um, on the, on the log or the, the branch. So there we go, a bit more here. And we can put a little bit underneath the foot as well, and underneath on that foot. And we can put even a little bit under his arm or his, yeah, his little arm that comes along here just a little not as much just a little dob 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 see the way i'm dobbing it along dob dob and a little bit under his chin maybe a little bit under his face just a little bit there a little bit on the back of his head just little flicky bits and you can put the odd little flicky bit coming through but you have very little on your brush when you do this bit you don't want a big load of it on your brush just have only barely any on your brush look and it just makes them look nice and furry. And that's what you want, a furry feel. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the white into my brownie blue mix. Just a brownie blue and a bit of white. And we're going to colour in our little nut thing or whatever he's got in his hand. Little nut thing there, see? So now what have we to do? So the next thing is I'm going to... Now you might have to let this dry a little bit. I will go in as it is. I have to find my pencil where I put it. Here we go. And we're going to do our usual, which we do as often as go around them. So we're going to start with up here. So we're going to go around the leaf, nice and strong like that. And mix it a nice, oh, I'm after blurring it there. Don't mind that. I didn't realise it was wet. I thought it was something on the page. There we go. So we can do something like this. 
going back over your leaves and getting them nice and strong here like that. See the way I'm doing that? Look, see the way it's bringing it out nice? So you could use a black marker would be good to use too on this, but make sure it's dry because I know mine's a bit wet now to do it, but we ha I'm just doing it because I want to show you what to do because I want to show you what to do with this part's easy because it's just going straight over your lines. But the part that I want to show you really is him, um, which we've done before on other ones. So you do know how to do it, but I'm just going to um, go around it again anyway. So here we go. Now, the fur on his tail is quite furry, so it's quite loose. So we're going to do nice big, look at this, look, I'll show you now. You see like that? So it comes in and out and you go straight down there like that, all the way down like that. Okay. And we're going to go down his back straight. Now it's hard for me to do this because it's quite wet. But if you had a black marker, make sure it's really dry before you do this. And then we can go straight down there like that. And you can do the odd little furry bits like that in his tail, look. Just little ziggy zag bits like that. And it gives, just gives it a help to give it a furry look, you see. And then we're going around his back. Of, and when you're doing this, now this is a, this I want to show you, is I want to do little lines. I see the way I'm doing the pencil. I'm thinking of, it's like scraggy. So I'm not doing nice straight lines. It's kind of like, I call them scraggy lines. And you can do a straight one down his nose. And down here, and we can put a little dip in for his nose. Look, see the little dip in for his nose just in there. And we can come down around like that. And now we can color in his eye. We do his eye all black to start with. So you can use your black marker to do this. You could use black, you could use black paint, but black marker, black pencil crayon, or even a very dark pencil. And now, watch, I'm going to scratch and now straight here, round in his little fingers. And this back one, okay, we're going to round like that. And then we're going to do it nice and I call it the scraggy up and down here, look. And it makes him look nice and furry on his arm, see that? And we do a little bit on his belly, a little scraggy bit there like that, so he looks nice and furry there. And we can do a little bit on his leg back here. And we can do a little bit roundier here, we won't make too much scraggy bits there. And we can go underneath there straight too, like that. And then we have his feet. And we go around like that, each foot. We go one, and we two, like that. You see, so we put the little lines in after. And then we just go down our branch. What we might do in our branches, we might make little lines on it to make it look like it's bark. So we can put our little and see all the different colours in there I went when I did mine? It wasn't all the same colour and that looks quite good though because so you can put little lines going down your, your branch like that. So it looks like it's kind of wooden. See, there we go. And that's, oh yes, we have to, very important, we're going to put a little bit more shadow there underneath him. Little, little face, a little, little mouth on him too. Put a little smiley mouth on him, I think would be nice, wouldn't it? And we have a little bit of his eye, one little tiny dot we want to put on his eye. Okay, hi John, hi Margaret. Hey Breach, uh, we're gonna put a little dot on his eye. I can find my brush again. I've got it, oh yeah, here we go. Because he looks a little bit like he's staring into space at the moment. But if we put a little dot of white in the middle of his eye, like that, now he suddenly comes to life. You see, now he's got a real little expression on his face and he's quite a happy little lad. We can put a little shine on or not too. We can put a little, little light there if you want. And there we go. That's it all now. And well, before we go, I want to put the, the two suggestions, which were, what were they again? Oh, I have to go back and see what they were. There was a lamb and a piglet, wasn't it? Yes, it was a lamb and a piglet. Okay, so I'm going to put these into the into the, into the the hat, as it were. Just find a piece of paper to put them onto. Hold on one minute. I'll just tear a piece off something here. Bits of paper everywhere. It's one thing I'm not short of here is paper. Okay, so here we go. Put these in the, in the, in the hat, as it were. Piglet and a lamb. Okay, so any more suggestions there? No, I don't think so at the minute. Okay, so we have a whole load of suggestions in here. So here we go. Let's see what we're going to put in. So there they are. I'm going to give them all a good mix around in my jar. So I'm not looking, I haven't a clue what I'm going to pick out of here. Find a grip, something is hard. To, oh, here we go. I what this is. And it's the pig that came out. Believe it or not. So that's today is what? Thursday. So on Saturday uh, at noon, we'll do the piglet. 
and uh, so thanks very much and listen i'm putting up this on uh, youtube later on and also um i say you can look it back on facebook but if you know anyone who doesn't have facebook and they'd like to look at it, have a look on youtube it's margaret mckenna cairn hill art um thanks very much and see you again and if you have any more suggestions put them in the comments and i'll read them after okay thanks bye bye